Hi, my name is Michel Osman. I'm a PhD student here at Jagiellonian University, originally from the Netherlands, and I'm here to talk with you a bit about the work that we're involved in. And our work is full of questions. Some of them I will ask you today, and with these questions you will work. First of all, have you ever thought about the fact that species, organisms in the same species, all look similar? For example, a tulip. If you have all these different tulip bulbs that you can buy at the market in Amsterdam, if you plant them all, a similar tulip originates from every single one. The same within your family. You look quite a lot like your parents. You look a bit like your brothers and sisters, but not that much to your neighbor. Then some other things. When we talk about animals, they behave in a certain way. If we have all these young little baby turtles that just came out of the edge in the middle of a tropical beach, they all know that they have to crawl to the sea and swim away. But nobody placed a big sign with instructions for them how to walk to the sea or how to swim away. So how does this turtle know what to, what to do? How do we actually know that every turtle is a turtle? Because once we see one turtle, we can identify that different species of turtles are also turtles because they look the same. This is all within a certain code that is within our cells. Just think of this code that describes who we are. Our ears, our eyes, our nose, the color of our hair. It's all encoded in little chapters of a big book. This is our DNA. It's present in every cell. But of course, we don't walk around with a big book with all this information about ourselves in every cell. This would be quite strange. DNA is more like this letter here. It's twisted around so it becomes shorter and it would fit into our cells. And all these little steps on this letter we could see as a letter. And a number of all these letters behind each other make up a chapter, which is a gene that could describe the color of your hair, if it's curly or not. And all these chapters together of different genes make up a whole book, which is your genome. So how do we know that I'm actually telling the truth about all this DNA? Do we actually have DNA? Or is this just some myth that they talk about in these crime scene investigation shows such as NCIS, where they use DNA? Here, actually, now will be your time to find out. You and your teacher will extract some DNA and show it to each other from broccoli. Have a nice class. <laughs>